Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back, and uh, I'm, I'm beginning to talk a bit funny. No, I'm not really. Okay, so what's happening is uh, I've got back onto your deb. Um, so I looked, checked it out. Went to you know just just checked out where all the maximum amounts of hits have been happening around Europe. There appears to be two. Okay. Um, so anyway, what I'll say is um, a series of switch offs over the last two weeks or so at Penley. Uh, we did get, a, a, I think it was a, a very high spike which was shown, but the um, other spikes that would have been, uh, there was a switch off, there was a gap, so they've turned off, uh, and the, the IEA allowed them to do that because they say it's natural radon, uh, but it's actually coming from something Penley is doing. So they're making releases. What isotopes, I'm not sure. I, I'm suspecting that radon is the largest component of this. And the reason for that being because as I went on to UADEP, I couldn't get onto any of the uh, lead isotopes, which would give me an idea if, uh, if radon was dumping lots of lead onto the, uh, the, the ground and what have you. Uh, now, I can't test for lead, um, but I'm working on it. So, uh, but anyway, so all... Also, the um, yeah, there's very high readings in Greece, and this was very similar to 2011 when the uh, Budapest Hung Isotope Institute in Hungary uh, made a massive release, and, and uh, you know, basically lead was found in England in birds in 2012 in carcasses, uh, and they were wondering where it was from, and it was from Hungary. It was from the Budapest Isotope Institute, where they make your cancer treatment. Um, and, and the children around there uh, had two years of iodine, I think it's 132, I may be wrong here, but it's one of the iodines, lost two years, and uh, the, the young people around there were, uh, were um, uh, sort of basically had that in their food. Uh, okay, so, uh, now thanks to Creerad, I think that mitigated that issue. They went around and they told people, you know, don't drink the milk and blah, blah, blah. Hopefully they got the message across. Um, they, they do try to, so. Well done, Creerad. Um, all right, but anyway, well, I'm going to move on here. Um, so we're wondering if it's radon or not, or what's going on. So uh, I, I did a test uh, of which I uh, took a Geiger reading at one meter, half a meter, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and then ground level. Um, and I got um, a measurement of uh, two meters. I was getting about 400 CPM. Um, so uh, kind of 0.1... I think it'd be kind of 0 0.1, 0 0.12 microsieverts per hour. So 400 CPM. Um, on the ground, it didn't change very much, it, it, you know, to be honest with you. It went up a little bit as I, I went lower to half a meter. Uh, uh, it's 426 CPM, 434. Uh, but when I put it on the ground, that made a big difference. 552, so an extra 150 CPM, statistically significant. I measured it the next day. Still 552, uh, 56 CPM it was uh, this morning um, at ground level, uh, and the upper level I think came back at 430. So uh, kind of the same, same reading here on the field and off. Uh, after a rainfall yesterday, um, I put it on the ground uh, to see what the reading would be because it's the rain. Now we're, we're measuring uh, 707 CPM, something in the rain. Okay, so. What's ever in the atmosphere at the moment, we've got English reactors going, we've got Penley, we've got Catanorm as well. Catanorm right, is letting off, I believe. Um, check your depth yourselves. I'll try and leave a link uh, on one of the articles I do on this. And, uh, <clears throat> and I've got the video evidence of the isotopes, all the peaks and things and the gaps. Um, I've screen, uh, <coughs> screen saved those, so I'm going to put them up. Uh, I'm going to have a go at um, also uh, uh, sort of getting better better pictures uh, but I'm um, limited on time of battery and things I live in a van so anyway um, I can't think of anything else I'm going to leave that as is now we're going to keep this short because the uploads take ages um, uh, doo -doo -doo. yep I would say that I'll keep an eye on it uh, it does look like we're basically uh, having a nuclear incident and while that nuclear incident was going on Okay, the emergency services were called out and they were unable to access the UDEP radiation map because it was switched off. Okay, now it's been switched on because there's been some publicity about it. Um, Hello. I'll leave it at that.